Hey pilots, Drain Man here and today I have got a very special video. In today's video we're going to be checking out one of the hottest whoops on the market. And it's not a 2S whoop, it's a 1S whoop and it is hot. Then they took the hotness and made it hotter by making it available for walk snail or HD0 and then of course the sweet ever perfect ELRS. You're not going to want to miss this. Let's go. All right, pilots, I am excited just because of the technology and just everything is just advancing and growing and going and going. And I'm just, I can't even keep up. I don't know how you guys do. I'm trying. I've got my walk snails here. I love them. They're absolutely great. Look at that, huh? <laughs> and then I'm running my ELRS module in the back of my radio. I'm rocking the Thor. I am working on a new radio, but it's just also exciting because they just don't stop. This is one of the best whoops on the market. It is the Meteor 75 by Beta FPV. I actually have the original right here I wanted to show you guys, and it's awesome and it flies great. It's actually one of the better flying whoops that I've flown when you go to 1S, of course, and that's made for around the house or a little fun outside if the weather's okay. But this guy, <laughs> this guy here is just out of this world. The way that it looks, the way that it flies, the way that it handles, and then all of the technology inside of it, it's digital. 1S Digital is just absolutely mind-blowing. So I just want to go over some specs with you guys, show you some flight footage, and let you know where FPV is headed today. So jumping right into this guy, you can see that its form factor is absolutely amazing. At 40 grams, if you've got the walk snail, and 36.4 if it's HD0, this guy is absolutely light as can be. Right here we've got our motor connectors as you can see. This makes for easily connecting and replacing and removing and whatever you need to do with the motors, but if you really wanted to shed some weight, I guess you could unplug those, break off the connectors, and solder that guy up. You really could. It's got 1102 18,000 kV motors. They're running three blade props that are 40 millimeters. The motors have enough kV to provide the high propulsion, the throttle boost that you're looking for in such a little quadcopter without being too much that it's sucking your battery dry way too fast. The stack on this guy is absolutely phenomenal. Nominal. It is the F41S 5 amp flight controller and it has the serial ELRS 2.4. It's absolutely flexible, it's upgradable, it's got all the features and it's got everything you could ask for. And it's all on one board. Now to top it off, all of that is connected to this brand new walk snail VTX. And that guy is in this version. It depends which version you go with because you can also do HD0. You've got 45 degrees of camera angle that you can select from just simply by loosening these two screws and then moving this guy more upward or more downward, whatever you prefer. You've got your little lollipop style antenna hanging out the back. It's an LHCP, which is what comes stock on the walk snail. Binding up your walk snail is absolutely incredibly simple. You press the button on the goggles, the button on the quadcopter, and they just magically go together. One thing that I wanted to do though was update my firmware. And when you're buying a ready to fly drone, they open up these things and they build them for you and they put them all together so you may not get all of your stuff. Well, luckily with Beta FPV, they did throw in the cable that you need. It comes with your walk snail, it's yours, and they should give it to you, and they actually did. So thank you for that because I did want to upgrade and I was able to. So for your battery system, it does take 1S batteries, and you've got this nice little carriage under here that they just simply slide into and then slide out of. You've got your BT 2.0 connectors, which is this guy right here. They have a very low internal resistance, and it's almost an possible to connect wrong. So that makes them very, very nice. Just if you have a lot of old batteries laying around like some of us do, it makes it a little hard because you can't use those on this quad. But thankfully when you purchase this, it does come with two batteries and a charger. These are 1S 450-30C LiPos and they're absolutely fantastic. They fly great, feel great, and the weight is not too much. Now you also get your charger, which is super cool. Look at this. It's not an open circuitry board like we're used to for whoop style things. You've got your Type-C cord that comes with it. You plug it into USB and then Type-C connects right here. This guy also is a cell checker. So not only can you plug in and charge, you can also check the actual voltage on your batteries. This is so very simple. You just simply plug it in. 
You've got red for charging and then green when they're ready. Can't beat that. Oh, look, that one's ready. And this one is probably not far behind because I've had them both on for a while now. And if you have more of these, like I certainly do, you can just grab more batteries and you can go more and more and more until your heart's content. I'm not really going to get much into the Walksnail system, but it is HD footage, as you know, so it would be like putting DJI on this little drone, 1S drone. Honestly, I don't think that's ever been done before, and Walksnail made it happen. There is one caveat, and you should know it because it will affect you. When the quadcopter reaches 3 volts, because this is simply a 1 cell, so fully charged is 4.2, and fully dead is around 3-ish. But when you hit 3, if you are not ready, this will power down and you will fall out of the sky. It's really amazing how the design of all this came together and they were still mindful of everything that you needed to get to. You can get to your connector here to update your VTX if you need to. If I pull out the battery right under here, I can get to my micro USB to update my flight controller, do my beta flight settings and more. I've also got access to my UFL connector if I want to disconnect, change the antenna, it pops off, reconnect, whatever. Then I've also got access to the button that I need right here. Boop, boop. There's my button to my VTX. I can reach it, press it. It's not a headache. And last but not least, your boot button right under here is fully accessible with a little pen or something like that. So that is really cool the way that they designed all of this and put it all together. In your package, along with your batteries, your charger, and your quadcopter, and the connector that you need to update your VTX, you also receive a spare set of propellers. And that's these guys right here, and you even get the little driver that you need to do it. They came in black, and I like having a spare set of props. The drone comes native with reverse props on it, which is super cool because that's what I like to run anyways. Now also inside, and you may have noticed this if you looked online or looked at the pictures or anything like that, they've got these really cool attachments, and I'm not sure if there's a purpose or if they just thought it'd be cool. I mean, it, it really is cool. Watch this. We can grab this cage and just pop this on. Look at that. <laughs> My drone looks like it just got smarter, more sophisticated. I, I just, I think it's absolutely cool. I love the look and I have every intention of running that. And then I'm going to put this on and I've got like a little, <laughs> a little tail or whatever, a flapper or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. How cool is that? It's like a little mohawk or something and it doesn't take the manufacturer but a minute to make and fabricate and injection mold and ship them out and we can personalize and make our drone special to us and it's just I think it's cool. You can maybe even paint it if you want to. Here's another option that they send. It just clips right over your antenna like that and then you just literally plop it in. <laughs> Look at that. Now it's like King Midas or something, I don't know. And I'm gonna put the icing on the cake. You can purchase these and uh, they do not come with it, but you can purchase it. And how cool is this? Now, you may need this for a reason. Maybe you broke something or maybe you just simply wanted to. Uh, there's multiple options here and they come in the beta FPV blue or you can do the black. Honestly, I like the black, but look at this one. <laughs> that is wicked. You can run that guy. And then here it is in black. Super cool. And then you get this mounting device here. I mean, <laughs> this is just cool. Maybe that allows you to raise it up depending if you're running uh, Walk Snail or HD Zero or just personalize as much as you want to. Do whatever it is that you want to and do it to your heart's content. There's a little back piece here to hold your antenna. So your antenna would kind of pop out the back instead of popping out of the top like this. But overall, I'm super excited. It flies absolutely amazing. It's got all the new technology. I'm just blown away. I love it. I can't wait. As soon as I turn this camera off, I'm going to fly more. I'm going to put some video footage for you guys. I hope that you guys are as excited about this as I am. I hope you guys are getting with the program like I am. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you on the next one. I don't wanna, no I don't wanna, I don't wanna Keep playing with you, keep playing with you I just wanna, yeah I just wanna, I just wanna Sustain with you, play no games with you You're the apple in my ear, we my eye, eye, eye Every time I make you leave, make me cry, eye, eye Meant to be this way, it always feels on time, eye, eye You'll forever be my pure
to you, you're mine. Yeah, you're mine. Yeah, you're mine. You're my bride. You're my bride. Can't believe I slipped up all of those times. All those times. All those times. That I lied. That I lied. Said I played you, now I got you asking why. Can't believe I called you more. Right. Cause you more red. Right. Left my clothes out on the doorstep. On the doorstep. Losing you, I can't afford that. Can't afford that. Cause you more stress no. I don't know Why I played those games I don't wanna No, I don't wanna, I don't wanna Keep playing with you Keep playing with you no. I just wanna Yeah, I just wanna, I just wanna Sustain with you yeah. Play no games with you no. You're the apple in my ear, we eat my eye, eye, eye Every time I make you leave, make me cry Meant to be this why it always feels on time Purity in my eye What to do? Where to go? Do you stay? Or do you go? If you leave, can I roll? Cause girl I know That I got you stressing If you wanna end it Blowing your phone up All of these years and how we built this so friendship I don't wanna I just wanna, yeah, I just wanna, I just wanna sustain with you. Yeah. Play no games with you. No. You're the apple in my ear, we my eye, eye, eye. Every time I make you leave, make me cry. Eye, eye. Meant to be, that's why it always feels on time. You'll forever be my beauty. In my